Okay, so we're gonna have the first ever light light uh, photography workshops. Battle of the Sunset Photography Tips. Oh, there Battle, 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 Battle of the starting, Sunset Photography Tips. Starting oh, with the shit. world famous <laughs> Jennifer Wu. Two letters, W-U, right? Not W, yes, you made that very clear on the podcast. Because people tell it W-O-O. -O. Right, okay. Oh. Or on blue. Now, that would have blue. never occurred to me. Tip, tip number one. Woo. We're gonna go through the it battle. Woo. We're gonna go through the battle of sunset photo tips and then you guys can ask questions. So, we'll start with the lovely Jennifer Wu. <laughs> oh, I love it. What's your best? Okay, so for metering, if we meter here, it's gonna get overexposed and dark. So I want to meter away from the sun, the blue, the blue area away from the sun. So that's tip number one. Yippee! Tip okay. number two. Tip number two. Tip number two. Tip number two, if you are gonna include the sun in that sunset shot, stop down to F16 or higher. It's gonna give you the diffraction, give you a nice starburst effect for the sun. Tip number three, if you want the sun large in your picture, use a telephoto lens. If you want it small in your picture, use a wide angle lens. Tip number four, if you want to saturate your colors underexposed by a third, two thirds of a stop, even one stop, check your LCD to see uh, and, and adjust the taste. Okay, back to Jennifer. Tip number five. Tip number five, find a foreground element really close to the scene, like a rock, a sea stack, something, and then you can have some more, something interesting in the foreground and the background. Five, six. Tip number six. six. Tip number six. When the sun goes down, stop down, especially with the ocean, because the more you stop down, the slower the shutter speeds. We get a nice, soft, ethereal waves. It's going to work really well with the color building up. Okay, the next tip. After the sun goes down, even before the sun goes down, always look back. Look at that beautiful light behind you. Check it out. Look. Major look. Major look. Go ahead. Next tip. <laughs> After the sun goes I down is when too. the fun begins. Best images I've ever made of a sunset is after the sun goes down, sometimes 20 minutes after. So stick around. Don't leave just as the sun goes down. Okay, I next agree. step back. back to <laughs> <laughs> That's right. No, 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 no. Come on. The, but the, everybody arrives too late and leaves too early. It's so true. So right. after sunset, but 20 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, then you get these gorgeous light, even though there's, like, there's been light on the clouds and they go away, then they light up again. Sometimes they light up again later, so, and then you have to look all around in every direction. Especially if you have layers of cloud, right? Yes. Next tip. Uh, next tip, if you want to intensify the color even more, go ahead and play around with your white balance. Uh, to get more orange, set a manual white balance of 8,000 or 10,000 Kelvin, and you're going to come away out of the camera with some really cool stuff. Next tip, don't cut the scene in half with the horizon line. If the sky's interesting, put the horizon line low. Was that going to be your tip? Yeah, I was going to be my okay. tip. Oh, okay. no. so, okay. Watch out for the sun! Watch out for the sun! I have another one. Situational I've awareness. I've done it many times. Situational, Situational awareness. <laughs> okay, so don't, don't cut the scene in half with the horizon line. Come on, next tip. So, following up on Jennifer's tip, find a foreground Get element it back in here. We gotta and it. use your flash. Power that flash down, a bunch of stops, just a little bit of light on that foreground element to bring it out. Cool. Next step, cool. Work the subject. So not just photograph the sunset, you want to work the subject, take as many variety of images as you can. So telephoto, wide angle, try to get the birds in the surf, all sorts of different things. There's far more than just the sunset. You can get the birds silhouetted with the sun, all sorts of different Still objects. <laughs> Well, I just got to amplify that tip because it's mine. It was work the silhouette. <laughs> Don't try and light everything in front. Silhouettes are absolutely amazing, especially if you can frame that silhouette with the sun right behind it. Some cool stuff. Okay, like next tip. Go ahead, go ahead. Like a goal. Would work. Yeah. Next tip, take all the filters off your lens because if you oh, don't, that's the, a good one. That's a good one. The sunlight is going to, that ball bounce. of sun is going to go through your filter, bounce off the front element of the lens, and bounce back onto your filter. You're going to get what's called a ghost image in your picture. So remove all filters. I'll just throw in another tip. Always have the world famous Tim Gray take a video <laughs> of this for postings and we'll be famous all around the world. Tim Gray. Tim Gray. Is it timgray.com? Um, okay, next tip. Tim Juan Gray. Pons, world, fa Gray. world famous Juan Pons. Let's go. Avoid the glow off of Hal's shiny head. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. Seriously. <laughs> My, oh, mind your head. is like kill Juan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mind your horizon line. Don't put that guy right in the middle. That's going to kill your image. Bring it up a little bit or bring it down. Hey, wait, Juan, uh, Hal just said this is like your last workshop here. So. Oh, amen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next tip, we're back to Jennifer. Don't use flash on Hal's head no, or for a hair head. light. He doesn't need one. <laughs> but um, okay. also, photograph just
just the surf, the waves and the lines of the surf, just get close-ups of just that coming in and going. And watch your shutter speeds. Next tip. My tip to defend my head. <laughs> if you are going to use flash or some kind of thing to give me a rim light or hair light, make sure that you feather that light. Otherwise, directly off the bald head, it's too much. So feather that light. <laughs> my, next, my next tip is like two tips. One is don't delete too quickly. You know, you have to use your histogram on the back of the camera to judge your, your image. Don't use the pic, just don't use the screen because it may be too bright or too, too dark. The new cameras, they automatically adjust it. Envision the end result. Think about what you could do in HDR. Think what you could do with different plugins. Envision the end result. Next. Look for the reflections on the water. There's a lot of interesting stuff oh. there, especially with the algae. Pay close attention to those ripples in the sand and use that to your advantage. Okay, back to Jennifer. Look for the reflections in the seaweed. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the seaweed. And go back row. Get up really close and get that warm reflection in that lovely seaweed since the water's now on that. If you're shooting sunset, don't forget about your panoramas. Panorama can be that a challenging exposure because it's so different. Pick the critical area, that critical segment, expose right there, and use that same exposure throughout the pano, even for the sunset. Don't forget the basics of photography. You don't want the subject dead center. Envision like that tic-tac-toe grid across the frame and place an interesting subject like Hal, like where one of those where one of those lines intersect. And Juan, before we can have one more round, because another tip is we don't want to miss the sunset. Right. So we're gonna have one more round. Go ahead, Juan. Uh, <laughs> don't forget about HDR. Don't forget Especially about Especially with this rock right here. Think about HDR. How can you expose for that rock and still get a great sunset? Wait, okay. Wait, I got one more. So we're gonna have one, one more. more. Oh, more. you got one more. Yes. Oh. So in the surf, you want to extend the bottom one at least just a little bit, even if you're close, because you don't want the sand getting in in here because great it takes tip. a little while to uh, get it all out of your. Lovely choice. <laughs> okay, and our last that. trip, when I say three, but the last trip is this. One, two, three. Have, Have fun! fun! <laughs> okay, let's hear it for the instructor. Right. Yeah. Nice